Lucas Media. So, I meant to make a video about it yesterday and I'm falling asleep, but they're saying that Larsa Pippen and Marcus Jordan, Michael Jordan's youngest son, have uh, allegedly split up. They've even been following each other on social media, and Larsa Pippen has been throwing shots at Marcus Jordan subliminally. Now, let's be honest, right? Shouldn't have been dating in the first place. Um, she's 49, and he's at least 33. Um, she has a track record for being with Basketball players outside of her husband, Scottie Pippen. I think she was dealing with Future. He Future made a song about her. Just, you know, I don't know. She She's known for being a, a, a wannabe reality star, a wannabe Kim Kardashian. And she even had her, she was on reality TV with Marcus Jordan. Right? Now, let's just be honest. I mean, we're going to keep it real over here on Lucas Media. She was trying to get a payday. She already got half of Scottie Pippen's pension, and I'm sure a good portion of whatever money that he had left over from his NBA career. And you trying to cash out on Michael Jordan. You took a photo in front of his, in front of his picture. I believe you thought about changing last name, and you just you wanted to be with him so bad. I know, I know she wanted to take a picture with Michael Jordan and his family. But you know, I said I see somebody comments on Two Raw said that he he won a seven ring by uh make having him break up. Michael Jordan wasn't finna go for that. Like you being tied to Scottie Pippen wasn't enough. And see, here's the thing, right? Let me let me be honest. Y'all better be careful because th this what Larsa did. You could tell that she has, um, or I would assume that she has. Uh, animosity towards Scottie Pippen still. Um, and they will go so low to, to stick it back to you. Now, you could argue that Marcus too, you know, but if the roles were reversed, wouldn't people would say Marcus was, I mean, people would say that Larson was the victim if she was 33 and he was 49. But Marcus as well, I mean, you know, he young in love on that dumb, you know, that dumb stuff. So, I mean, he was foul, too, because this is your father's co-worker of, of at least 10 years. And they won multiple championships together. You can't you can't say Mike without Scotty. You can't say Scotty without Mike. Like they both needed each other to help uh, for them to win these titles. And then I remember she said, oh, I didn't really know them like that. No, no, stop. Like, where is the where's the draw on the line? And the videos I made about it before, people was coming at me talking about some, oh, no, bro, they love each other, man. Come on now. You know, I remember she floated the idea of having another child. And it was just, they didn't need to be together, man. Marcus, you was dating a 304. There's plenty of more women out there in the sea for you. You just, she was just, she was trying to get to the Michael Jordan trust fund. You really, y'all really going to sit here and tell me. Or have me believe that if Larsa Pippen and Marcus Jordan, if Marcus Jordan were who he was, she would deal with him. I mean, because what is Marcus Jordan really known for? It's not like he's big on social media. It's not like his um, trophy room stores. They got uh, 30,000 stores or whatever. You know what I mean? It's not like it's a finish line, at least not yet. He's really known for being Michael Jordan's son. So, I mean, what did you see in him? You know what I mean? When you be dating all these athletes and, and rappers and entertainers. Like, wasn't she dating that Beasley guy? One of uh, her son teammates? Like, this is just... She need to go sit down somewhere. You got... Yo, most of your kids finna be grown. Be a, Enjoy being a, a grandmother in the future. Like, just chill out. Be smooth. But no, nah, you know. But I'm glad. Thank you, Michael Jordan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because I know you, you finally put your foot down on that. So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. You know, move on, Marcus. You can find you somebody that, uh, you know, a whole lot better than what you had. But what y'all think?